Today we're going to be going over an example problem from 5.2, day number 3, simplifying radical expressions. So our example problem for the day is the square root of 128p q squared and r to the 4th. So the first step is we're going to simplify the radical and how we're going to do that is we're going to make a factor tree for 128 because when you take the square root of 128, it is not a nice number, it's a decimal. So let's start by writing 128 up top. And then we're going to think of two numbers that multiply to 128. So let's do 8 and 16. You can really do any two numbers that multiply to 128, but I chose 8 and 16. So now we're going to find two factors of 8 and 2 of 16. So for 8, we're going to do 2 times 4, and then 16, 4 times 4, or 4 squared. And then we're going to break the 4s apart into 2 times 2. And then we're going to bring down this 2. So since this is a square root, so we can think of a 2 being out front of this radical sign. So we need pairs of 2. So... Right now we have three pairs of two. So there's one, two, and three. So since we have three sets of two, we can bring out an eight because two to the third is eight. So bringing out an eight in front of the radical sign. And then we have one two left over right here. So that's gonna stay under the radical. Next, we're going to simplify the P. So the P in this problem is just to the first power. And since there's a two out front here of the example problem, uh, we can, uh, Think of p as p to the first. Two does not go nicely into one. The one is smaller than the two, so the p is just stays under the radical. So we have the square root, and we have eight, and then p just stays uh, eight, and then the p and then the two. So that's what we have so far. The next step is we're going to deal with the Q squared. So we can think of, so Q squared, and then we're taking the square root of Q squared. So we're going to divide two into two, and two goes into two one time with zero remainder. So we can bring out a Q in front of the radical, like so. And lastly, we're going to deal with the R to the fourth. So R to the fourth, so the square root of R to the fourth, we can divide four by two, and two goes into four twice. So we can bring out an R squared in front of the radical. So our final answer will be 8q r squared and then the square root of 2 And then our P. And that is the final answer. Thank you.